Okay, so now we're going to talk about the voltage. There's two rules for voltage, which we'll get into in one second. We have the same circuit we had in the current video a minute ago. Here we have two bulbs that are connected in parallel, and as a group, these two bulbs are connected in series with this bulb and this bulb, and they're all connected to a 9 volt power source. So here the total voltage is 9 volts. The thing you have to understand about voltage is that any electron leaving, say, a 9 volt source has to lose all the volts before they get back to the source. So the total voltage as you go around has to add up to, the, to 9, to the original source voltage. You can't have an electron coming back to the battery with 1 volt because then it'd leave the battery with 10 and it would get stronger and stronger every time it did a loop. I hope that's not too confusing, but if it is, forget it. All the voltages in any circuit that any electron does have to add up to the source. So looking at this, we can see that if an electron left the battery and went through here, it would lose 3 volts. Going through this bulb, it would lose 4 volts. It's already lost 7 volts, so going through this battery, it only has, sorry, this bulb, it only has 2 volts to lose. So the voltage here has to be 2. The electron that goes this way, 2, 4, is 6, and 3 is 9. This way, it loses 9. Now, what if an electron, though, took the other route? He lost 2 here, 4 here, and then took a right turn and went through this bulb. It would still only have 3 volts to lose. So this bulb also has to have a voltage of 3. And from that, you can see where the formulas come from, I hope. If they're in parallel, they're equal to each other. These are both 3, they're connected in parallel. If they're connected in series, they add up to the total. This guy plus this guy plus this group adds up to 9. 2 plus 4 plus 3 is 9. So this is really easy. Let's take a look at this second circuit just to make sure that we can cement our knowledge here. We've got 3 connected in parallel. Right away I know that their voltages have to be the same. If they're parallel, the voltages are equal. Over here I've got two bulbs that are also connected in parallel. If this is 35 volts, this guy's got to be 35 volts. No problem. Well, what about this guy? It's not connected in parallel to any of these. But an electron goes through here, loses 25, goes through one of these branches, loses 35, that's 60. They have 40 left because they started with 100. So this has to be 40 volts. No matter which way the electron goes, if it goes 25, 35, 40, it loses 100. If it goes 25, 35, 40, it loses 100. 25, 35, 40. No matter how it goes, the total voltage is equal to the sum of all the voltages if they're in series. Anything connected in parallel automatically has the same potential difference.